Zoom, 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 zoom. Friendship. Uh, Omega Sci-Fi to me means friendship is essential to the soul. It's an important part of, 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 of the social fabric upon which we as black men, I think, can belong, to belong to these organizations like this. I always knew I wanted to be an Omega. So uh, I went to uh, an Achievement Week program, and it was so professionally done. I said to myself, I want to be part of this organization. Omega is a state of mind. Uh, and uh, incumbent in that state of mind is the development of an attitude for service. It's a lifestyle. It's, it's you know, like we say, manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. It's, it's all of those things um, together and, how, and exemplifying um, that and everything you do every day. Lifting as we climb in Zyphi is like, you know, being able to accomplish a goal and take one of the brothers with you. Seeing that the brotherhood, the camaraderie, I grew up as an only child, didn't have any brothers, so when I saw the way the brothers interacted with each other, that really attracted me to Zyphi Chapter. Zyphi Chapter is the Harlem arm of friendship being essential to the soul. For, for us, everything starts with friendship. We affect our community through our friendship. If we can't be friends with one another, there's no way we can com affect our community. So for us, it starts, our founders had a friendship. Their friendship was known as the Three Musketeers. That's just the love that they have. And that friendship permeates to our organization 105 years later. The founders uh, were three undergraduates from Howard University and their advisor. They uh, decided at that time that there was a need for an additional organization uh, on the campus of Howard University. At that time, uh, you had two organizations. You had uh, Alpha Phi Alpha and you had Alpha Kappa Alpha, which were also on the campus. But in uh, addressing the needs of the Howard community and having vision, uh, these four undergraduates, along with their advisor, uh, chose to move forward with a new idea, a new concept and that concept was the Omega Sci-Fi fraternity. And here's the, the, the great thing about them. At that time, they had these, now we're talking about 19 and 20 year olds, they had the wisdom to create a international organization. Even when the university wanted to, them to keep it local, at 18, 19, 20 years old, they were already thinking international, having that type of impact. And I have to believe that when those students, those three students and the founder got together on the campus of Howard University, there was something in that moment that pushed them to create an organization that affirmed our uh, the best of who we are as African Americans, manhood and scholarship and perseverance and uplift. The chapter went dormant in the 1960s, if, I, if memory serves me correctly. The chapter initially was, as I said before, comprised of uh, professional men uh, on, uh, on a higher scale, doctors, lawyers, dentists, uh, business people. And uh, it was very strict in its initiation process. Uh, you had to be a certain type of individual and achieve a certain degree of influence in the chapter to be thought of or considered to uh, be a part of it. In reactivating the chapter, there was a need looked upon for a different take on what community uh, outreach should look like. And uh, those individuals who started the uh, reactivation process felt that uh, reactivating Zyphi chapter uh, could possibly meet some of the needs that they were seeing not being met. We approached um, Brother Carey, who was, I think, the oldest member, one of the oldest members in this chapter. And 
uh, he wasn't too thrilled with the idea at first. In fact, he asked us, uh, uh, why do you want to come to Zyphi? Why don't you go to Cap Omicron? <laughs> so that was the beginning of it. And we uh, contacted uh, National to find out what was the status of the chapter. And National had them down as being inactive. So we submitted the paperwork and that was the beginning of the reactivation of uh, Zyphi. I think a, a lesson was learned uh, earlier uh, during the uh, early days of Zyphi chapter. Uh, part of our, our, the process uh, in the beginning for us was to, uh, to obtain the history of Zyphi chapter. And uh, my line, which was, uh, there were nine of us, we visited uh, one of the only living member of the original group. And uh, through the interviewing process, uh, we, we learned that Zyphi really became inactive because they treated themselves as elitists. They were only uh, concerned, uh, admitted uh, doctors and lawyers into this illustrious organization. So we turned that around, and any, anyone who had like ideas and who were really committed to community service and who will roll up their sleeves and know that work is to be done in the community, then we were, you were welcome into the organizations. Omega, Woo! Omega, Woo! Omega, 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 Woo! In terms of uh, some of the more prominent members of the fraternity, I, I think of the great educator Benjamin Mays. Uh, he has trained so many uh, young people, to, including Dr. Martin Luther King, by the way. I think of Roy Wilkins in terms of uh, the NAACP. Uh, I think someone mentioned Dr. Charles Drew, who uh, uh, created the blood, blood plasma that was used throughout World War II. We have many stars. We are, uh, one of our founders, Ernest Everett Just, you know, uh, one of the foremost biologists and then first African American spring on in WAC medal winner. So we're made up of a lot of different, you know, entities and, and disciplines. You know, like I said, we have men in, in education, we have filmmakers, you know, we, we, we just run a gamut. Professional athletes like Michael Jordan, uh, you name it, you know, uh, Omegas are involved in all facets of society and that's an important piece that many people don't know. Such notables that have come through the, through uh, Zyphi are Langston Hughes, who made a huge impact. And because through him, we were able to make an impact on the, the Black Renaissance, which had a home here in Harlem. Judge Dennis Edwards was also somebody who's come through Zyphi chapter. So we've had notable people who have historically, even through the 60s, we had um, Brother Edward Plemmer, who is, is known for, he had a scholarship program that was sending Harlem Knights up to uh, Ivy League schools in the 70s. Um, so Zyphi Chapter has always had people who have made a contribution to society. The men who have participated in Zyphi Chapter come from all walks of life, and sometimes they're not, they're not famous, but they're men who I watch. Um, just the way they carry themselves in a dignified manner. And, and it's, that, it's that approach that the Brothers of Zyphi chapter had that really um, made me again want to hop in there and, and um, follow their lead, and follow their example, and hopefully set an example for uh, future brothers as well. You may seem real, but don't let your nerves desert you. Keep yourself in fine trip. We were always noted as the premier chapter in the corridor. Uh, we did many, many things that the other chapters weren't doing, especially the um, establishment of the Black College Tour. We also, um, what then was the pre-Father's Day boat ride, we would have an outing prior to Father's Day, not only for the brothers, but uh, their family and their extended families. We also uh, helped out the youth in the Harlem community and the other communities by having a talent show, voter registration drive, and et cetera. Anything that was meaningful and helpful to the community, we were part of it. 
the fraternity has nationally mandated programs that whether you're Xi Phi chapter or any other chapter, you help that you are expected to do because it's part of our core value system. Things like blood drives, things like voters' education. Um, so those are some of the nationally mandated programs. But what Xi Phi does is just try to recognize the needs in our local community. And as a result, we formed a historically black college and university tour that we've been doing over, over 30 years. We have a mentoring program that we serve to the village of Harlem. We do voters registration drive. We do walks. We support causes, breast cancer walk, uh, sickle cell walks. Um, so there are a myriad of programs that we do. Provide leadership, guidance, um, but we have to be there. We can't sit in rooms and discuss the issues and the problems in the community and not go out there and address it. And one of the things I, I like about what Zai Fi Chapter is doing especially is that we're in the community, we're doing things, we're getting engaged with different community groups and helping to address some of the issues and at that level and not just sitting, sitting amongst each other talking about what the problems are and what we think they are. With the Black College Tour, being able to uh, take on anywhere between 40 to 90 kids on a, on a tour that sends children down south to historically black colleges and universities to see three schools a day and, and have an opportunity to, to meet with students that look like them at universities, to, to speak with um, scholars, to speak with student enrollment people, to deal with people who can actually let them know that they were in the same situation that they, that they are in now, to impact those children and give them the idea that New York City uh, the slums, the you know, bad neighborhoods, the projects is not the only place for them. It gives them the ability to know that they can look further outside of you know, the local communities that they see all the ills of life happening like right before them. Well, I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta. Um, I wanted my daughter to experience the Black College Tour. I heard so many great things about it. As a parent, what I think of the tour is that it was a wonderful experience for her. She was able to bond with peers that looked like her and also able to go and see historically black colleges and universities that I would not have been able to take her to. By the end of the tour, I didn't want to go home because I made so many friends and I had such a good time with all the people that were on the tour. I just didn't want to leave. Something I didn't expect when I was beginning the process of uh, going on the Mega Sci-Fi, Sci-Fi College Tour was the mentorship relationships that I developed. Uh, several of which, you know, I went on the tour in 2003, but several of which I continue now. Uh, I would see them, some would check up on me. As a matter of fact, uh, one of my mentors from the trip helped coax me to go back to school um, now. The tour definitely had a great impact on me. Uh, so. As director of programming of Impact Repertory Theater, I have was able to found the Impact Rep College Prep, and the a lot of the format of that program it came from uh, my experience with the college tour. And as far as the workshops that we did before that, and you know, trying to make sure that the kids are able to see different schools, so it not only changed me, it hopefully has changed a lot of other people that I've been able to help. Uh, because of my experience at the college tour. Cues, get ready, roll. Cues, get ready. Hey, hey, cues, get ready. Well, I think it's a wonderful thing that uh, Zy Fi has made it to the 90th year. Uh, it's a tremendous thing that, that this organization has grown. I think in 10 years, I'll be 92. <laughs> I, hope to, I hope to be around then. So for the next 90 years, what I would hope would happen for Zafi chapter is that we just would continue. I don't think we really need to do too many new things. I think we just need to improve on what we're doing now and maybe add more people to the ranks. We have developed strategic relationships with the educational community, with the church community, and we're developing a strategic relationship with, with the corporate partner. Um, those strategic relationships allow us to service the Harlem community effectively. 
in the next 90 years, I think we should really just enhance on those programs. Sometimes you don't have to add a lot of new things. Just do realize what your, what your niche is and improve on that. Do that well. And for the next 90 years, I like to see just whoever is standing on my shoulders and the shoulders of the brothers now, learn to just take those same things to the next level. I would say my vision for the chapter in the next 90 years would be to continue impacting the Harlem community. My vision for the chapter would be to be solely independent in terms of you know, our housing. So if I could see Zyphi in the next 90 years, that would be to see Zyphi have its own fraternity house. The chapter's going in the right direction. So you know, we're not gonna stop, we're not gonna stop working. We're gonna continue working. And within the next 10 years, I look forward to my, my son joining the chapter as well. So uh, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Once you fight for liberation, the fight continues, sometimes in different, different, or what rather reimagined ways or more nuanced ways. But the struggle never stops, which means then, if in this country the struggle is always, in some ways, especially in the 20th century, included Omega Men, and Omega Men who are at the forefront of this liberation struggle, that means in the 21st century we still need Omega Men, strong Omega Men, who take manhood seriously, who take scholarship seriously, who take perseverance and uplift seriously, and who hold that all in a beautiful creative tension to really demonstrate what it means to be a, a, a man of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. So I, I count it a joy to be a part of this organization, but more than that, I, I live with an expectation and an anticipation of what we will do and how we will continue to impact this country in a major way to leave that Omega footprint on the United States. Next year I will be eight years old, but I'm not going to stop, I'm not going to stop until I'm called into Omega chapter, which I hope is not very, very soon. Can somebody tell me why? Happy 90th anniversary to Zyphi Chapter of Omega Zyphi Fraternity Incorporated and 90 more years. Happy birthday Zyphi, I look forward to many more years. Uh, thanks for everything you've done for the community, the Harlem community. And it's been a pleasure, it's been a pleasure, it's been a pleasure, and thank you for allowing me to your, to your brotherhood. Long live the Zyphi chapter of Omega Zyphi. Happy birthday, Zyphi Q's Rue. Just want to say happy, happy 90th anniversary, Zyphi chapter. It's been a pleasure spending almost 29 years of it, um, and looking forward to the next 90 years coming up. Happy Charter Day, Zyphi chapter. Happy birthday. Thank you to the brothers who came before me for allowing me to be a part of this chapter. And thank you to the brothers who are in the chapter now who came after me for keeping up the good work. It's been an honor and privilege to be a member of Xi Phi chapter. May it continue to have success in its 90th year and also for the next century and beyond. Godspeed. Happy 90th anniversary, Xi Phi chapter, Omega Xi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. I count it a true pleasure and an honor and a joy to be part of this chapter here in New York City in this profound time. It is a beautiful thing to have powerful men who are at the forefront of service in this city. And so I count it a true joy to be part of Zy Phi Chapter. Root. Zy Phi Chapter, happy chartering day, happy anniversary, happy birthday. Right now we have the awesome privilege of turning this wheel, of making it go. Um, we thank God for those who came and turned that wheel before, and there'll be others that'll come behind us and they'll become after us. We look forward to hearing about their, their contribution. Happy birthday, Zafi Chapter. From the bottom of my heart, I'd like to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, Zafi. There's been a lot of success in the past. I know we're going to have a lot of success in the future, and I'm looking forward to sharing that and being a part of that with the wonderful brothers of this chapter. God bless. It has been a deed of pleasure to be a member of this proud organization. As we celebrate our 90th, let's continue to move forward and progress and continue to keep our youth in mind and do whatever we can to help them achieve their goals and objectives. Happy 90th anniversary, Zyphi. Keep up the good work. Happy birthday, Zyphi. Oh,
Omega. I said, what's your name? I said, Omega. I said, what's your name? I said, Omega Sapphire. Gonna live and die for Omega Sapphire. Gonna live and die for Omega Sapphire. Gonna live and die for.